Okay, here is a dusk review. It is early December 2022. Wanted to let you see what the ginkgo is like right now. The color was great. This is late in the day. I think you'll be able to get a good idea. Of the color and the scale of the tree. It was planted when Logan was born, 1984. And it's kind of famous for that, I guess. Because since then, it has outgrown every other ginkgo that I don't know anything about. And is now competing with the largest ginkgos in the North Texas area. A lot bigger than most of them. One of the reasons it's grown so fast is just that it's been under an organic program since it was planted and it has a dramatically exposed root flare as you can see. Oh, yeah. angle of the tree. It's kind of hard to, to show it with photographs and even with video, but do the best we can here. You can see some of the leaves are on the ground, so it's at peak. The next couple of days, the leaves will cover the ground and I leave them there for a while. They stay they stay really pretty on the ground for a while. And it doesn't hurt anything, doesn't hurt your plants or anything. If you have a ginkgo I'd recommend you maintain it kind of the same way. If you haven't heard the story about it it was planted as a certified male plant, which is what most people tell you to plant. Now, let's see if I can go, go out a little. There you go. This will be a better way to see the scale of it a little bit better. About 14 years into its life, and it's probably about 40 years old now. Logan's now 36, so and obviously in this plant when it was eight feet tall, so it's somewhere around 40 years old. And it's big. It's uh, it's hard to tell from this shot, but it's a good sized ginkgo and, and it's great. It started producing female flowers and fruit at about age 14. Last year was a huge crop of fruit. This year, not very much. Question is, we know it has the ability to convert from male to female. The question though is, can it convert back to a male and not be quite so fruit bearing and messy? Well, as you can tell, it's a special tree and certainly one of my favorites. Hope you enjoyed this little tour.